lunch. Lunch did me in. Okay, so uh, this camera just kept giving me all kinds of grief, so I just uh, screw it, and I, I moved it out of the way for a while. I have been doing a lot of extra filing sanding um, in these corners. Uh, I use the rat tail to get in. Um, like I said, this this uh, Iwasaki is just too coarse. So I got in here with the with the rat tail and, and worked that in. Did the same thing in here, although I did take the big majority of this wood out with the, the gouge um, right here, just a, you know my plastic hammer and gouged this out and got down close. Then I then I went at it with this file, rat tail file, and uh, I even uh, did change the paper on this one block I was talking about. This is a 120 on here. But I also radius the ends off so uh, that I could sand and run right up into these these radiuses without creating, you know, chunks. Uh, I don't know why I've never done that before. It's actually a splendid idea. So between that and the, the little scraper, uh, this is one of those. I've got several scrapers laying here. Um, this is a pre-bought. One with the little radius on the end and the other on that end, or concavity and radius. This is obviously several different radiuses and it's thick and it's just sharpened to a point on one edge. It's not square. That works really well. And then I'm down to this little this little uh, one here, which is one of those Stumac, the really wide ones, and they're just cut square. These work really well. I've been, I've just been working this down just get right up against the line there and just, you know, been working that down and uh, sanding. And the same thing here. This is where I was just before I turned the camera on. Just, you know, doing this stuff. And it's tedious. It just takes time. Uh, there's nothing fast about getting these little uh, transition areas, you know, perfect. You don't want to end up with a what I had, which was a big flat spot here because I needed to roll it over closer to the to the volute. I'm still feeling a little bit. I got a, I just noticed too before I turned the camera, kind of a little square, not a square, but you know, I can feel a ridge right there, which I don't have on this side. So I'm gonna, it's basically right where the walnut and the, the maple meet. So I'm just gonna peel that off a little bit. Uh, and you know when you start using edge tools on things You can tell if you're Going against the grain or tearing something up. So you just don't go that way I've, I've been able to go back and forth on most of this I had one area right in here that didn't like that um, So anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm probably gonna call it good for for now, although it's still not perfect by any means um uh, the other thing I do is I keep a short block that's got a straight edge on it handy. And I can look here and see how I'm doing. Same thing here. This this block isn't 100%. It's got a little vocal in it. But it's good enough for me to tell what I'm doing here. So you can tell when you when you go like this. You don't know if you can see that pencil line right there. I've got, I need to flatten this out. It's picking up a little bit of a rise right there as I as I move up toward the the heel and I probably have the same thing on the on the uh, nut end. Yeah, as soon as I get to about here I wants to start running up right there. So I'll flatten this out a bit make this a little steeper ramp right here. So you got more more consistent thickness right there. The um, the measurement here now at the 20 at the first fret is uh, 20 20 and a half millimeters approximately and this is 24 back here at the 12th fret uh, It won't hurt my feelings if I get a little thinner here. I did go back in and just really just uh, Bark the sides off both ways to kind of give me more of a V feel although it's not real obvious uh, It's a really it's got a really actually nice feel to it right now dimensionally 
the you know the shape of the neck everything to me is is a real real great feel so anyway i'm going to just fiddle a bit more with this get these ridges off of here that ridge and then i'm going to go ahead and prep the the uh, pig head wings and get those glued on the next time i'm out here i'll be able to tree that all up and then uh lay out the pig head and get it cut out as well uh this thing is fitting in the guitar body just perfectly i might have to adjust the height a little bit i'll have to get it with the straight edge and the um, bridge and all that just to make sure anyway that's that's it for now um yeah i'm gonna go ahead like i said i'm gonna work on this little ridge here i'm still feeling a ridge right there that i'm not i'm not digging it so uh, i'll turn the camera off here once i get back in that direction That's it for now. I'm going to keep working on it, but I'm just going to turn the camera off.